limited resources but a passion for science and innovation going far and beyond to reach their goals. Such success cannot be without help. Uh, it is a range of partnerships that help us become what we are. Our partnership with the Department of Education from provincial right up to district level helps us uh, achieve or reach many learners across the province. We also work with universities such as Nelson Mandela University as well as Rhodes University as well as uh, research institutions like NRF Sion and SIAB that allow and open up their labs to our learners. They allow our learners access to high-tech equipment that allows them for the collection and analysis of data to enable them to come up with conclusion, conclusions that have got scientific integrity. Botha's project was titled Exploring Habitat Use of Juvenile Fishes Using Remote Underwater Videos in the Environmental Science Category. He wanted to find out how many fish are on each side of the Algoa Bay as most juvenile fish utilize the shallow areas of the bay. It helps the environment firstly because our experiment is um, it doesn't it doesn't harm the, the the fish in any way shape or form so we are able to see the fish in their natural behavior and we are able to 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 observe them without um, without them being influenced in any way as opposed to extracting them from the water mm -hmm. and it also helps us to protect them to conserve and to put in stricter laws maybe stricter rules within the licensing of fishing within itself. Jordan's project combined three forms of renewable energy, namely solar, hydro and wind into one system to generate electricity, a solution to the country's current energy crisis. I read an article, I think it was last year, about CSIR, which stated that our my, my main source of production of energy is from non-renewable resources which is quite concerning because the word itself non-renewable states that when by a certain time the resources will be depleted and only they only focus about 20 percent of on renewable energy namely um, wind whereby Quebec is also one of the, the, the um, plants and then also in the Western Cape but it doesn't really contribute towards our um, our crisis that we face so therefore a shift in focus is of vital importance to ensure that our energy crisis gets um, gets solved learners across the province are given a chance to register and compete at school provincial and national level in the escom expo science projects competition where they showcase their innovations so these projects in a way are assisting us as a department in terms of growing the numbers of learners who are interested in the science itself because when their peers uh, go and participate and compete in these uh, competitions and win the prizes and the exposure on its own is very important in terms of um, increasing participation rates uh, in the in the in the in the math science and technology subjects so i think that's one of the gains that we are embracing through these uh, science expo projects Botha and Jordan look forward to the international competition. I'm looking forward to, to networking. I'm looking forward to seeing other ideas, seeing what I can bring back to the country and plow in plow back maybe. Um, also looking forward to to um, exploring. It will be a new setting in terms of um, science fair because I know they do things different abroad. So therefore, uh, integration of my multiculturalism is would be fun. I assume <laughs> learning a, of the diverse cultures that they are out there. Jordan will be heading to Bali, Indonesia, from the second to the fifth of May, and Botha will be traveling to Los Angeles, California, from the eleventh to the seventeenth of May. Sinetemba Witi, SABC News, Abeja.